Hey everybody, I was just out mowing my lawn and I was doing some weed whacking again and I'm thinking I ought to just tell people about this because I've been using this this uh, string trimmer for years, like five years or more and it, it's only been good. You know, there's, there's nothing that I don't like about it. So I figured I'd just do a quick video on it. So starting from this end, you got your battery here. And your battery can go into one notch and stay there and then it won't run but it won't fall out either when you want to use it you push it all the way in and then it's got a fuel gauge on it so if you push right there you get your bars got four bars I just charged it up it's uh, 36 volt and I think it's one and a half amp battery. If I'm wrong on the amp, someone put it in the comments and let us all know. Um, the battery lasts me about 20 to 25 minutes doing just normal yard grass trimming. You know, I'm, I'm not out in a hay field. I'm just doing normal yard trimming with light or even a little bit heavy grass. And it works great. And it's about 20 to 25 minutes, like I said, is what I get on it. To charge it up. If that was down to like one bar, it takes about 30 minutes to charge it up. I can't quite do my whole yard on a full charge, so once I drain it down and it's charged and I go mow for a while, and then I finish weed whacking later after it's charged up. Um, the only thing that's a, a little hokey on it is maybe running the throttle. You know, it's got the safety lever, but it's actually got two safety levers, so you can't just push it you gotta push this one forward and hold this one down and then show it. okay it's got uh, extendable reach on the shaft which is that button right there I've got it out all the way right now for my height I'm 510 and I find it's maybe just a bit short for me you know it's good overall but it might be just a little short for me but that's as far as it'll go out and then on this end it's like a lot of string trimmers it's got you know you bump it on the ground and it'll feed your string out um, it's got the knife edge here be careful don't cut yourself to as the string comes out to cut it I just cleaned that up a little bit because it was a mess you wouldn't even have been able to see that and then to change the string, it's pretty easy too. I'll try doing it here. Let me see if I can show you. It's got two two little buttons. You got one there, one there. Yeah. Trim in the camera here. You press those buttons, and then the cover, this cover comes off. And then this just comes out. And I buy them by the spool. The string's already on it. So when I get this, when I get it, I just put the whole thing in. I don't wind string. I don't know if you can on this or not. I don't know if you can buy just a string and do it that way. So you just feed it back through the holes. It's not a big deal. Probably couldn't see real well how I was doing it. And then you put your cap back on to hold it. So you just find where those two buttons were. There's one there. One there. See the tabs on the... I'm just doing this on the fly, guys, so it's probably not real quality. I was just out here working on the lawn, like I said, so I figured I'd do it. And that's that. I don't really think there's anything else to say about it, but like I said, I've had it for five or more years. I'm still on the original battery. Um, it's just, it works good. I don't even know if they make this model or not still. I'm not, not sure about that. But anyway, if you thought you wanted it, back when I bought it years ago, I think it was $199. I don't know what it is today. 
But it's a good one. I think you want it. Have a good night. Bye.